This is Oklahoma Zone News 9. Well, it is Friday Eve, and I can say we've had a full <laughs> week of sunshine. I feel like we went from spring straight into summer. Yeah, barely a, a little of bit of spring <laughs> went right into summers. We had one week of severe weather and spring weather. It was hot wet, stormy, and then like you mentioned, Just this pure week heat. we've had three consecutive earlier this week of record warm low temperatures only in making it into lower to middle 70s. We need rain here, Lisa, and the drought monitor has improved across eastern mm. Oklahoma because they saw nearly a foot of rain for the first week of May, and we saw some rain here across the metro, but poor west, southwest, out in the panhandle, they are desperately needing rain and the drought will continue to get worse here with all the heat and just looking at the, the latest long range forecast. There's going to be a couple shots of some rain here in the last next couple of weeks, but overall summer is quickly building in and again we're down 11%, but this was mainly just because of the heavy rains erasing the drought in eastern Oklahoma, western Oklahoma. It's extreme to exceptional uh, drought that'll continue to get worse as we head towards again the summer months. All right, looking ahead towards uh, the next couple of days, lots of sunshine out there as we're looking at temperatures once again this afternoon in the 90s as we're looking at the heat and humidity continuing and we'll continue over the next couple of days. We do have a weak front that are head our direction over the next uh, 24 hours that'll bring us a chance of showers and thunderstorms, but. Right now, we're just sunny and hot. 82 degrees, a south wind at around 15 to 25, gusting near 30. It helps to actually grab the correct uh, remote. See, this has Lynx 1. I grabbed Lynx 4, so that's why you did not see me on air for a little bit. 62 degrees, everything's greening up locally because we're finally seeing that heat, that Bermuda grass and that recent rainfall. Uh, everybody's humming and mowing and sweating with the temperatures into the 80s, humidity well up there. Today, I will say it is a little bit lower than the last couple of days. We're in the lower 60s, but the humidity will increase ahead of this dry line and our weather system moving into the desert southwest, four corners that'll bring a jet stream overhead. The main forcing's off towards the north. This is gonna be a big severe weather day across the Dakotas and Minnesota and uh, uh, Iowa, but for us, trailing dry line may be enough of a trigger to produce a couple isolated severe thunderstorms out in the panhandle of western Oklahoma by this evening. For us, it's a pool day. 91 degrees here in Oklahoma City, 90 in Stillwater, 90 in Ada, 92 in Lawton, 95 there in Altus, and your hour by hour forecasts, no weather worries here across Oklahoma City. Warm evening, south winds, humidity, lower 80s by 8, 78 or so by 10 o'clock. There's that chance of an isolated shower and thunderstorm after around 5, 6 o'clock. Couple isolated thunderstorms in eastern Texas Panhandle that'll move into western Oklahoma by 7 or 8. Again, models, some of them are dry, a couple of them have a couple isolated. If they do develop, wind and hail will be the biggest threat. Now that system moves over us overnight, we could see a better chance of a cluster of showers and thunderstorms to develop out here to the west and then race to the northeast for the overnight. May move over across Oklahoma City, but again, better chances off towards the northwest, and especially here this evening, if any of those thunderstorms actually develop and get going, quarter to golf ball size hail and maybe a wind gust 65 or so with those thunderstorms will eventually weaken overnight, but they might become a little bit more widespread showers and thunderstorms. Temperatures fall down into the 60s for the overnight. That front that will arrive here northwest here this evening will kind of uh, kind of stall out or fade out or fade away. It's losing its punch here tonight into tomorrow, but that could be the corridor for showers and thunderstorms late overnight into tomorrow morning, even here across the metro. Now with that front nearby, heat and humidity, 80s and 90s tomorrow afternoon, again, will help to spark off a couple showers and thunderstorms. Right now, the data is most likely seeing the showers and thunderstorms northeast, but there could be a couple down the line and maybe in across southwest Oklahoma. Not a widespread washout, but again, a couple of those thunderstorms could be severe with a little bit of wind and hail. Quarter size hail, gust to 60 miles an hour. And with that front nearby, couldn't roll out a isolated tornado, but looks very low. A little bit less humidity on Saturday. Temperatures 80s and 90s and low temperatures down into the 60s. So a little bit of relief with the summer heat, but it returns quickly here, Lisa. Back up into the middle 90s. Overnight low temperatures in the low 70s middle of next week. I think you said it best when you said it's pool weather. It is pool weather. <laughs> Thanks, Justin.